on WCBI. Welcome back to Midday. We're joined now by Brandon McLaren and Michael Williams from the Magnolia Independent Film Festival, which is coming up this weekend. Good afternoon, guys. Yeah. Thank you Thanks for being for here. Thank Brandon, you. we talked about this yesterday, and I could tell that you were excited about this year in particular. Why is that? This year is, is probably going to be one of the best lineups we've ever had. Um, we've got a total of 38 films that are playing, represented by 12 different countries, ranging from dramas to comedies to documentaries, a couple horror movies, <laughs> um, and even a family-friendly block that we've added. So something for everybody, really. That's right. And Michael, I didn't realize that it's been going on for 23 years. What does it take for a festival like this to, to, to last that long? Well, it started with Ron Tibbet, and he had this vision for the Magnolia Film Festival and for there to be a true independent community, independent film community in Mississippi. And so when he moved to West Point, he was a filmmaker and had nowhere to show his films, so he created a festival. So when you have someone like that who was passionate at the beginning, that passion grows. And so over the years, the MAG has always been this very filmmaker-friendly, audience-friendly. And when we come to the MAG, you feel like you're part of the family, especially as a filmmaker who comes in from you know, anywhere in the world. And so filmmakers come, they realize, hey, this is a great festival. We learn a lot. We make a lot of friends and connections. And that grew our reputation to every year. People want to come to the MAG and make those connections, see the films, and really have that experience that Ron set out to make, and that's really lasted over these 23 years. That's really cool, and it kind of leads me into my next question. You don't have to be like this independent film expert to come out and enjoy these movies, do you, Brandon? That's right. Yeah, there's kind of an image for film festivals that sometimes it's, it's a stuffy environment, um, but our festival is a very casual event. It's something that anyone can go to and enjoy. Um, if, whether you love comedies, dramas, um, any genre, you're going to find something that you're going to see and you're going to enjoy. And you're probably going to see something, too, you've, you've never seen before either. Um, that's one of the cool things about film festivals is it's not your, your average movie-going experience. Um, you may read a synopsis for a film, and by the time you see it, um, it's something way bigger than you imagine. And what's so cool about this is that these filmmakers are from all over, and you get a chance to interact with them and ask them questions. Is that right, Michael? Right. So I actually started my association with the MAG as a filmmaker. Oh, okay. Because every year I would go, and I would meet other filmmakers, and those would lead to jobs. And so it's, a, it's an environment where filmmakers can come in. They can you know, meet with their peers and see their films, and it's a really social experience. And there's filmmakers from all over the world who come. So this year I think it's just American filmmakers, I believe, that are here. But typically every year we have even some international filmmakers come. So they come and see what Mississippi is all about. Yeah. They get to see what other filmmakers from all the country are making. And it's really a, a great experience. And if you're interested in film, it's a great way for you to meet filmmakers and to see how can you get involved in the industry. Very cool. Brandon, you want to let everybody know when and where it's going to be? Yes, the, the event's going to be um, from February 27th through 29th. So it starts this Thursday at 7 p.m. Um, if you go to our website, you can see the full lineup of the festival um, when each block starts. And one block I'd like to emphasize a little bit, too, is that we're going to have a family-friendly block that's going to be Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Okay. This is the first time we've had it, and all the proceeds are going to go to the T.K. Martin Center at MSU. So this is our, our first-time event. And this is going to give a, a good opportunity to, to invite families to the event as well. well. I'm glad you mentioned that. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Guys, thank you so much for being here this afternoon. Thank you. All right.